Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paladin Dance. Welcome to the channel, and today I'm going to be going over Holy Avenger and its uses in Mythic Plus for Protection Paladins. Now I know what you're thinking, you're probably thinking to yourself, but Paladin Dance, Holy Avenger's got a 3 minute cooldown. How in the world is it going to be better than getting free Word of Glories or free Shield of the Righteouses with Divine Purpose? Stick around, let me show you how. But before I show you how, look at this quick clip that I have here, right? Look at my Ardent Defender uptime, my weak war, it's right above my action bars. 9 seconds, 8 seconds, 9, 10, 9. I'm keeping my Ardent Defender up constantly, right? This is the power of Holy Avenger, so let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over Divine Purpose, what it does, its synergies with everything else, and then I'll go over Holy Avenger. So, Divine Purpose, let's just read it right, let's just see what it does. Holy Power abilities have a 15% chance to make your next Holy Power ability free and deal 20% increased damage or healing. So, what this is going to do is that periodically throughout the dungeon, so it's going to be somewhat consistent, you're going to have a 15% chance while using your Holy Power abilities to either get a free Shield of the Righteous, that'll do 20% more damage, or a free Word of Glory, that's going to give you 20% more healing. Now, that's really good. That's obviously a good talent. You're going to get extra healing throughput, extra damage mitigation throughout the entirety of the dungeon. It really shines best in situations where you want to use your Shield of the Righteous, but you also just got chunked maybe, and you're at like 25% HP, and you also want to use Word of Glory. And instead of having to choose what to spend your Holy Power on, you can just do both if it procs, right? That's it. That's this ability at its best. At its worst, I'm, I'm tanking a pack, I'm literally fine, and I get a proc. What am I going to do with it? Right, like, I don't need Word of Glory, I'm at 90% HP, and I'm in no way, shape, or form about to die. I'll just throw it into an extra Shield of the Righteous. Hopefully I'll get an Avenger Shield in there beforehand with the Bulwark of Righteous Fury, which I run, and I'll use my Shield of the Righteous. So, honestly, for me personally, most of the time I find that although... There are other synergies, which I'm about to go into. The actual ability by itself baseline is a little bit underwhelming for me, just because most of the time I don't need an extra Shield of the Righteous and I don't need an extra Word of Glory in most situations. However, Divine Purpose also has two other strong synergies, which over the course of a, an entire dungeon are going to add up to more damage mitigation and more damage overall. So first one being the Conduit Resolute Defender. Now as a prop paladin, this is probably the best defensive conduit we have. You should be taking this. And what this does is that Shield of the Righteous extends Arden Defender's duration by 20%, but more importantly, it also reduces its cooldown by 1.4 seconds. So over the course of an entire dungeon, if you get something like 60 procs on Divine Purpose, and say you use those procs all on Shield of the Righteous, you're going to reduce the cooldown of Ardent Defender by a total of 84 seconds throughout the dungeon. So you're going to get more damage mitigation by virtue of having more uptime on Ardent Defender with this. And I'm sure you guys can see the synergy here, right? So in addition to this conduit, you also have Righteous Protector. Now, as a Pug Hero, sometimes I take Final Stand just because there's a lot less communication. Sometimes, you know, for example, like I might want a Treant because I want to not take damage, I'm taking too much damage, but I'm not in comms and the druid doesn't know. So having final stand for situations like that is sometimes better for me. However, I do try and take Righteous Protector as often as I can. And when you take Righteous Protector, Divine Purpose's value goes up even higher because let's say you get those 60 procs I was talking about earlier in a dungeon, right? And now you get it for Righteous Protector. Now you're also reducing the cooldown of your Avenging Wrath and your Guardian of the Ancient Kings by one second every time you use them. And now I know that the tooltip says that it's for each holy power spent, and technically you're not spending holy power when you get a Divine Purpose proc, but it does work. So when you ever, whenever you get a Divine Purpose proc and you use it, it does count towards this. It does count it as using three holy power. And that is effectively what you're getting when you get a Divine Purpose proc. You're getting three holy power for free. So these two synergies, along with the Conduit, make Divine Purpose one of the best talents that you can take with Prop Paladin. So where does Holy Avenger come in? Let me show you. So let's read Holy Avenger first. It's a very simple ability, three minute cooldown. Your Holy Power generation is tripled for 20 seconds. Plain and simple. So 
Whenever I use Judgment, I get 3 Holy Power instead of 1. Whenever I Avenger Shield, 3 Holy Power instead of 1. Hammer of the Righteous, 3 Holy Power. Hammer of Wrath, 3 Holy Power. Divine Toll, I mean when you cast this you're already going to be at 5 Holy Power, but technically if you could keep going you'd get 15 Holy Power. A little meme but you can still use it if you're an elf. Arcane Torrent gives you 3 Holy Power instead of 1. So all your abilities are going to, all your Holy Power generating abilities are going to generate you 3 Holy Power instead of 1. This is going to give you the same exact synergies that you get with Divine Purpose, except that it's going to be all within 20 seconds instead of more evenly spread out throughout the dungeon. So it's going to be spikier. But that does allow you to do stuff that you can't do with Divine Purpose. For example, I was talking about this conduit earlier. Resolute Defender. And I kind of went over, you know, how the more important part is that you reduce the cooldown by 1.4 seconds every time you use the Shield of the Righteous, but you're also extending the duration by 20 seconds. As a prop paladin, if you're planning on going into a big pool and you know you're going to have to use Ardent Defender, you should be trying to line it up with your Divine Toll. So, like, in Magical Christmas Land, you go up to 5 Holy Power, you use your Ardent Defender, and then you spend all that Holy Power, then you Divine Sh Toll, to get five more holy power and you spend all that and then you keep on building as much holy power as you can to dump into shield of the righteous in order to extend our defenders cooldown now that's magical christmas fairyland you can't always do that sometimes you need our defender right off the bat but you should at least try and line it up with your divine soul so you can get you know a little bit of extra uptime however this pairs up insanely well with holy avenger because when you pop your Holy Avenger, your every other GCD can be either a Word of Glory if you need to heal, right? If you, if you need to heal, obviously you're going to dump it into Word of Glory, but more importantly, it could be a Shield of the Righteous. So for 20 seconds, every other GCD is going to be a Shield of the Righteous. Now, for my testing, usually I can get off about 12 SOTRs during the 20 seconds that I have Holy Avenger up, which means that your Ardent Defender already lasts 8 seconds by itself. In addition to those 8 seconds, you're going to get about 25 to 30 extra seconds of duration. So this would not be possible with Divine Purpose. This is a situation where Divine Purpose is inferior to Holy Avenger because in no situation with Divine Purpose are you going to get a 35 second Ardent Defender, right? It's just not going to happen. It's impossible. But with Holy Avenger, for those 20 seconds, since every other GCD is the Shield of the Righteous, you can build this up to be gigantic. So in in every single dungeon, almost every single dungeon, you do a very big pool in the in the first start. Here's my scuffed route for Necrotic Wake. This is what I do for my first pool, right? When you go to the other side, obviously, you have this first pool, which is a pretty big pool. You also have the next pool, which is pretty big for, for a tank. Um, Miss the Tyrannus Scythe, which absolutely slaps the crap out of tanks, right? Whenever you go into a big pool, you're going to be able to line these up so that you have increased Arn Defender uptime by a, literally up to like 35 seconds. There's no other tank that has the ability to do this. What other tank gives you 20% damage reduction for 35 seconds? Literally nobody else. Now I'm not saying that this is broken or anything. You, you can only do this every 2 minutes 40 seconds, but it's pretty strong. And not just that, but during that time, you're also going to be reducing your Avenging Wrath by an insane amount very fast. And Guardian of the Ancient Kings if you spec into Rice's Protector. So you're going to be reducing three abilities cooldowns very rapidly within this 20 second window. And you should be able to have Holy Avenger up for just about every single big pool. The, the takeaway here though is that you are literally creating 30 seconds of extra uptime with Ardent Defender through the use of Holy Avenger, something that's impossible through Divine Purpose. So here I'll show you exactly what I do when I go in with all my abilities into like a very big first pool. I'm going to pop Avenging Wrath and Ardent Defender. Then I'm going to Divine Toll, which is going to give me 5 Holy Power. I'm not going to hold the Avenger before then because all the HP I generate from that is going to be lost. So I'll Divine Toll, I'll use up that Holy Power, and then I'm going to Holy Avenger. Now, my weak auras for all my stuff is down here. So you're going to see my Arn Defender pop up here and just pay attention to the uptime, all right? So now I'm just literally, you know, generating with either Judgment, Avenger Shield, or one of the hammers, and I Shield of the Righteous. Generator, 
Shadow of the Righteous. Generator, Shadow of the Righteous. As you can see, you just keep your Ardent Defender up throughout the, the essentially throughout the duration of the 20 seconds that Holy Avenger lasts. There just fell off. And you can also see Arn Defender 18 seconds, Avenging Wrath 25 seconds, right? So by the time that you finish that first pool or that bit, very big pool, whichever pool it might be, you're going to have these up for the next pool, which is very convenient. Now, if you're running Final Stand, this, the synergy is a little bit less so, right? Because now you're only reducing the cooldown of Arn Defender not Avenging Wrath and Guardian of the Ancient Kings. But the same can be said for Divine Purpose, right? That's why these talents lose out a lot of value when you're using Final Stand instead of Righteous Protector. So there's these two are the same when it comes to using these other talents instead of Righteous Protector. So when you compare the two, in my opinion, usually I don't feel like Divine Purpose helps me out that much in the moment. I think it just provides me with ways to reduce the cooldown on these three abilities over the course of a dungeon, right? Like when the ability procs, I'm not like, yes, dude, I got a divine purpose proc, here we go, I'm gonna get in giga damage and healing. I'm just like, all right, cool, like I'll, I'll just throw out another Shield of the Righteous. It's like I mentioned earlier, at best, you're in a very sticky situation, you get a random proc, so you're waiting on RNG to happen, and you're like, yes, I can use Shield of the Righteous and Word of Glory at the same time. That's this ability at its best. Overall, it's really just there to help you, you know, reduce the cooldowns of these three abilities. Holy Avenger still achieves that. You're still reducing the cooldown of these three, but when you go into a big pool, you're going to have 100% of time on Shield of the Righteous. Every other GCD can be used on Word of Glory if need be, if you're ever if you're getting chunked constantly. And you're also going to have insane Ardent Defender uptime for the duration of that pack because you're you're going to have, you know, again like a 35 second Ardent Defender. And to top it off, if you line these up, by the time you're done that pack, Avenging Wrath and Ardent Defender are going to be up for the next pack as well. What matters at the end of the day when comparing these two, the, the, the question you should be asking yourself is, all right, well, over the course of an entire dungeon, how many Shield of the Righteouses and Wogs will this provide me over Holy Avenger? And for that, I looked at some locks. So... I did a little bit of calculations. This is a this is a 19 spires done in time. The, the timer in spires is 39 sec 39 minutes. So they were under by 35 seconds. And over the course of this dungeon, this prop paladin, you can see his divine purpose procced 67 times in the span of 38 minutes 25 seconds. So to make the calculations easier, let's just say it took them exactly 39 minutes. And in that, you know, that extra half a minute, we'll just throw in 68 procs, right? So he got 68. We'll just say he got 68. Well, over the course of that dungeon, he got 68 total extra Shield of the Righteouses, which all reduced the cooldowns on Guardian Ancient Kings, Avenging Wrath, Ardent Defender. However, if you instead substitute this for Holy Avenger, Holy Avenger, you can use every three minutes, 39 minutes, t divided by the three times that the three minute cooldown, you're going to get 13 uses in Spires of Ascension. Now, let's be a little bit conservative and say, you know, you're not always going to use it, Holy Avenger, right when it comes off cooldown, right? Sometimes you're halfway through a pack and it's not worth it. So you're going to wait to kill that pack and go into the next pack and use it. Sometimes, you know, you're going into a Giga pack that's going to slap you real hard. And, you know, you're not going to use it on this menial pack right beforehand, right? You should be trying to use it on cooldown just like every other cooldown that you have. But let's just say that you only use it 12 times instead of 13 times, right? We'll give you three minutes of holding it throughout the entire dungeon. So 12, for the 12 uses you're going to get in the dungeon, times 12 Shield of the Righteouses per use, because I'm able to get 12 Shield of the Righteous procs, usually every single time I use Holy Avenger, is going to give you, as you already know, 144, uses of Shield of the Righteous. So you're talking about 144 total uses of Shield of the Righteous versus 67. Now these can obviously be WOG. You can use WOG instead. But the point being, 
144 uses. You're going to get more Shield of the Righteous uptime using Holy Avenger. Now, you can argue, hey, Divine Purpose is giving you a totally free Shield of the Righteous. It's equivalent to, give you, to giving you three Holy Power, not two, right? Because you can say Holy Avenger only gives you two Holy Power, since really... When you throw out Judgment, you'd get one Holy Power, for example, but with Divine Purpose, you get three. So technically, you're only getting two extra Holy Power, not three. All right, well, 67. 67 times three. You'd get 201 free Holy Power. Meanwhile, with the 144, you'd only multiply this by two because you're only getting that two Holy Power, 288. So you're still getting more Holy Power generation through Holy Avenger. In addition to getting literally increased uptime on Ardent Defender, which is impossible with Divine Purpose, and being tankier for really big pools. Now I also have logs from another Paladin here, which ironically, uh, Eltharian was commenting on one of my other videos the other day, shoutouts if you're actually watching this one. But this is a Halls of Atonement that he did in time. The I think the, the Halls timer is 31 minutes. So this is in time Halls of Atonement. So again, for your calculation's sake, we'll just say it was 31, 31 minutes, and we'll give him an extra proc of Divine Purpose, 57. So we'll go with 57. In those 31 minutes, you can use Holy Avenger 10.3 times. So we're going to take away that 0.3. We'll use that as our time for, you know, we'll calculate that as the time that you didn't use it off GCD, right? You waited for another pack or something. We'll say you use it 10 times. 10 times 12, obviously 120. So again, you're just getting more uptime on Shield of the Righteous. You're getting more uptime on your other abilities just because you're gonna be generating more Holy Power. So in conclusion, guys, I've been testing out Holy Avenger for about a week and a half now, and I personally have been enjoying it more than Divine Purpose because during big pools, I can have that Ardent Defender up for 35 seconds. And at the end of dungeon overall, I feel like I get more cooldown reduction on my abilities than I do with Divine Purpose. I think that bare minimum it should see a little bit more testing, maybe a little bit more play. I think it's a little bit underrated by the community right now, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Let me know if you've run it before. Let me know if you think that I'm totally wrong. Whatever you might think, let me know down in the comments. I'm curious to know. I hope that you guys all have a wonderful day and I will catch you all in the next one.